Who are my favorite prime minister or presidents, and what I think about them? And some of you may think I'm crazy. Could it be Lee Hsien Loong? <gasps> Highly impossible. This because in Singapore I cannot identify who the leader is because there are so many. Where on earth should the world's smallest country need so many leaders or ministers to administer? What worse is they like to play tai chi, pushing their rules to one another if the matters doesn't belong to them, or they would turn to A C G to make decisions. Furthermore, there is puppet presidents who was supposed to be elected by the people, but was reserved, and her photos and her first man were all over in the government buildings. I cannot tell who's the leader in Singapore after the death of Lee Kuan Yew. Singapore is a country being so small yet having so much complication with so many scholars with only book knowledge to just wind the common citizens. If we could think further, is there a need for anyone to fancy them since they already have a big fat salary? Their paycheck is enough for anyone not to care about them. So here are my three favorite leaders. But firstly, before laying my cards on the table, I'm not concerned whether they like each other. But some people may not like them. Secondly, beauty is in the eye of each beholder. The first person I like is Donald Trump, that many of you may already know. Some of you may say he's a racist based on what Democrats paint him to be. Yeah, in a way. But he wanted to put Americans first. And they should be first because they are the people to make America great again. Donald Trump demonstrates high resilience in whatever he does, and he will succeed in his mission, including his meeting with Kim Jong Un. Notably, he dares to take risks like the way he bargained with North Korea and how he's wired up Democrats without thinking twice. Most importantly, he thinks of his own citizens first, and he doesn't care about how others. View him when he rejects immigrants, especially on the issue like building a wall to restrict illegal immigrants. He's very rich, but he builds his wealth with his own hands before going into government, and he doesn't take any salary from the government. The second person I like is Tsai Ing-wen, cause she's fearless like a tiger, but sweet like a kitten. She doesn't really care about her image, for she is selfless. And keep on fighting against China on the One China policy, that is really suicide. She's not seen as a charismatic or great speaker, but she has won over people with her sincerity, intelligence, and tenacity to continue her fight for Taiwan independence. Why should Taiwan belong to China, and why must China be greedy to take over Taiwan? China is prosperous, and China government should let Taiwan be independent. The way I see China government is the government is a bully. Yet Sai is still strong and determined enough to resist the dragon. Of course, I don't know about the history about Taiwan and China as well as their propaganda. If anyone is going to ask me about this question again, I stay in Taiwan and China for a long period of time. My other favorite person, who also just became the prime minister, is Doctor Mahathir. He's a person of great wisdom. The main reason I like about him is he could take the risk to save his country. He's incredible, cause he prepared to go to jail at his age if he happened to lose the election. But his no risk, no gain mentality has won my respect and admiration. Without any fear, he could go all the way to investigate the tyrant Najib Razak. Of what he did in the past, he didn't care about what Najib and his gang could do to him before the election. Therefore, it made me do videos to support Mahathir. Mahathir has a philosophy to put his own people first. I don't know whether he will put Chinese first or not, but it doesn't matter. It's Malaysia. To a good leader, identity is the most important factor to build a good country. I believe he'll treat everyone fairly. Mahathir is an Iron Man. Some of you may say I'm a Chinese that I should support China. Oh well, I did support Taiwan, but not China. That's because I support leaders with righteous mind 
and a good fighting spirit. To me, there's only one race in the world, and that is human. By split into two different categories, evil a good. To further elaborate on this, a judge does not mean he's evil, and a scholar does not mean he's good. Of course, there are some other leaders I like in the world, but these are the three I would like to awe. Oh, because they have the courage to make their nation great again. They are awesome. If you ain't mine, please leave down your comments to talk about your favorite presidents or prime ministers. Do watch some of my video I did for these leaders in the past. See ya. Awesome!